Welcome to my 2021 holiday card series. You can find the reference material associated with this video by clicking on the project page link in the description. We're ready to begin painting this Christmas card. You're looking at the template and uh, we have a Christmas ball with some holly behind it and just some uh, you know some pine tree branches coming out and uh, this is the five by seven inch template I'm painting on uh, the blank greeting card stock and uh, I've drawn that in here it's a little hard to see because I've, I've lightened the lines up quite a bit and I'm gonna begin uh, painting this with uh, in this uh, this ball this Christmas ball but I'm gonna be painting uh, this is quinacridone and gold that I have on my palette right now. So I'm going to use this quinacridone and gold. You can paint this any color you wanted. I'm just I chose to paint this uh, as a gold bulb, and I'm going to paint it with this quinacridone and gold. And uh, I'm going to try and be. Uh, Get a little bit of gradation of, of value. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna follow this uh, edge to get it uh, uh, painted in uh, around the perimeter. And I'm going to leave an area there. I'll take some water, come in and towards the middle, and keep that a lighter uh, value. So now I'm going to take a little bit of water on my brush and add a little water here in the middle. And then I'm going to just take it to the edges. And you can see I've got a bead of water there. I'm going to pick that up with my brush so I don't get any backwashes. I'm working at about a 20 degree angle. And uh, I'm going to take a little, uh, I have a burnt orange here. I'm going to take a little of that and just touch the, uh, the edge to make it a little darker on this side. And that, uh, you know, that pretty much gives me what I'm after. And uh, I want to try, I want to keep that. It's going to, paint's going to continue to move a little bit because uh, I'm working at an angle. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give this a quick dry. And then I'm going to continue painting. So that's dry. And uh, I'm going to take my, Take a brush here. I'm going to paint this part of the bulb. Just wanted to maintain a bit of an edge, so uh, I didn't continue this up until this was dry um, here. So I have a little bit of an edge. Well, that was a little too much moisture in there. <clears throat> And uh, so now I have just the start of my bulb. And I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to take uh, uh, some uh, green. I'm going to take that sap green and mix a little of that gold with it. And uh, I'm going to paint uh, these holly leaves with a a uh, fairly light um, wash and I'm going to come back over and I'll glaze over it with a little darker value so I'm working around these little berries
as I paint this, I have a I have a, a mixture that has a little bit more of that gold in it. So I'm actually adding a little of that to my wash to create some variation as I paint. And uh, like I said, then I'm going to come in with a little darker uh, wash on top of this. I could add some of the darker uh, mixture as I do this and just get some gradation. But I'm going to just going to paint on top of this once it's dry with some darker shapes. Get this one here. I'm just painting this with a, a number six round brush. Try not to fuss too much with the application. You know, once I get the coverage, I move on. There's no reason to just keep brushing in an area there. And uh, you know, it'll look like you kept brushing it. All right. Oops. Covered one of my berries. I almost painted those first. That way, I just I kind of preserve the. I get that in early, and I don't paint over it, but blot it out so there's the there's the first kind of uh, base wash and put it on the hollies I'm not going to do a lot with them um, but I am going to come in with a little darker mixture and I think this needs I think to come up to here a little bit more fill that in all right I'm going to dry that and I'm going to come in with some darker uh, value green that's dry, and uh, then I get my brush. So I'm gonna take this sap green, put a little bit more there, and I'm gonna add just a bit of ultramarine blue. You can add anything. You don't have to use the colors I'm using at all. Um, use whatever you have on your palette. I'm gonna add a little uh, rose matter to that. That helps kind of neutralize it a little bit and and now I'm gonna uh, come back in and I do see something there's a there's one of these little berries that I didn't want to that I filled in so I'm gonna take this little scrub brush that I have lift that out and now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna I'm going to put some uh, a, a little darker green uh, on this and some of the, the lighter tones will come through actually going to go a little darker I use this royal blue <clears throat> to darken my mixtures a lot um, but use whatever you have This cardstock is is a little different. It's 140 pound, but it's it has quite a texture to it.
Just put some of these darker accents on here. Tissue to blot sometimes just to break up a wash and create a little texture. Might have gone a little too far with that. We'll see. That'll be all right. I like paint back over that because I didn't get the best coverage. And uh, now I'm going to get this one. Paint here. Okay. Right. So I'm going to dry that. That's dry. Now I'm just going to take a small round brush. I'm going to take some red. This is pyro red. You can use any bright red. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to paint these berries in. And uh, I want to dry that before I put my hand in it. Next, I'm going to take, I'm going to get this off my palette at the moment. I don't need that. Now I'm going to take, uh, this is burnt orange, but you could use burnt sienna. I'm going to add just a little blue to it to make it darker. This is the royal blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a, a rigger brush. I'm going to take that, load it up with that, and uh, I'm going to make these, these branches that I have. I'm just going to blot just a, a little variation in that. And um, I think I'll dry those before I go ahead and put the, I'm going to start to put the needles on these. So that's dry. I'm going to use the same brush and uh, this green mixture that I have here. And I'm just going to start to put some needles. on uh, the branches. Now in the template I drew these. You don't have to draw these as long as you have the, the, the indicated where the branch is. You should be in good shape. I'll take a little golden mix in there to just a little lighter tone here and there. Some of the darker. Do the same here.
and we'll do this up here. And now I want to dry that. A little dark there. So that's dry. I want to get just a a little darker mixture here just to put a few uh, stronger values on the, the the branches that I have. And then I'm going to get a little deeper uh, green. Do, do some of the same. I'll go a little darker here and there. Okay. And I'm going to take my, uh, my brush here. I want to I'm going to glaze over this. I didn't, I'm not real happy with the way that covered, so I'm just going to add a little bit more to it. And let's see, I think. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some of this dark mixture I have here and uh, I'm gonna draw kind of the hanger with it. And then use that for my string. And I wanna take a little of this gold with, with water, just thin it down. Paint that, and now let me dry it. I'm gonna, gonna put just a little bit of an edge on that. All right, so I think we're done. Now I'm gonna take my tape off. So I always get that that clear clear border because of how I'm taping the card. And uh, there you have it. So this is on cardstock, so you can see how it opens up here. And uh, you know you can experiment with this. Like I said, you can change the color of the balls. Um, you don't have to draw on all these lines. Just go ahead and paint them in. And uh, I hope you enjoy painting this uh, this Christmas card.